Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello, people! Welcome to Vinny VR! And this is a massive surprise, because I don't think I've actually downloaded Steam VR Home. And this is the beta version of it, so I think this has uh, just been preloaded onto us. And doesn't it look absolutely fantastic? Like, Points for uh, getting the level of detail on this absolutely spot on. Like little shadows there, the birds flying, and I don't know whether this could be something that we can like watch movies on, like a big massive screen or something. But they've got <laughs> the good old portal cube there, which is pretty cool. Everybody wants a portal cube in their room, don't they? And uh, I'm not too sure what all them are, but they are. Still really, really cool little items, and I'm wondering if we can actually maybe change some of that stuff that's there for our own things. Let's have a little look at some of this stuff over here as well. This just looks uh, like we can do something with this. Maybe. We can definitely drop it. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh wow. <laughs> so we just click the different colours. <clears throat> I guess we can uh, paint to our heart's content with different colours. I wish I knew that's what it did beforehand and then I would have had uh, maybe something ready to draw. Not very artistic. <laughs> As you can tell. Uh, I have no idea what I'm drawing there. Can we delete it? Can we delete it? Or will it will it stay here forever? We best not draw too much until we know exactly what we want. Unless we can actually... Maybe it'll go away by the time we come back. Something to check out. Let's drop that for now. Let's have a little look at the giraffe. Baby giraffe with a small neck. And an elephant! Yay! Smash the elephant against the window. Well, that's a Team Fortress dude, isn't it? I think. Didn't really get into Team Fortress that much. More of a CSGO man. Right. Does that move? Whoa. 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 We could make things masu massive. Massive? Massive. Let's see if we can make the cube big as well. Oh, <laughs> oh! You can make a digi, like a tiny little cube. How small can it go? <laughs> that is really cool. So it's a nice little surprise. This from Five. This is uh, really, really cool. Let's have a little look. Some information spots here. You can have different room presets. You've got the bench there. Or the table and chairs. Oh wow! So if it was in your bedroom, you could actually. I wonder if we can let's get a bit more information. Customize your room with the multi tool. Learn more by selecting tutorials in the menu, which has pretty cool. We'll have a look at that. Oh, oh yes, you can actually put a desk and a computer screen there as well. So I wonder, I tell you what, we'll put that there first and let's have a little look at some more of this. So you've got different things that you can have in the garden. And it, just once again, the level of detail. The birds. This is just such a peaceful place. And actually, that background view is really, really cool. They usually have quite a lot of issues with the with the background, but it looks really, really good. They've really outdone themselves on this one. I genuinely don't know though. I might have downloaded Steam for your home at some point and then not realised it. Um but I don't think I did. I think this has just been plonked on us. Or at least it's been plonked on me anyway. It might have happened sometime through the week. But this is the first time I've been on it. Look at a butterfly as well. Wow. Can it land on the controller? No, it can't. <laughs> can't have it always, can you? Whoa. Oh my god, the sky even looks realistic as well. <laughs> Right then, let's see um, about customising this area. So, 
Menu button to begin. Welcome to the Steam Theo Home. This is your home space. The home space is interactive, customizable, and social. So to open and close the main menu, use the menu button on your controller. Teleport, obviously, yep, yep. Uh, three panels on the wall give access to friends. Three panels. All right, these ones here. This menu allows you to uh, customize your avatar, edit your home space. Let me click that menu then, or? Motion sex tutorials and the menu on the next screen. Great. So let's get a little avatar up, I think. Whoa. Boo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, do we do we want it white? No, no, no. Let's have a look. Oh look, so we can actually have um, hand signals. Now that is pretty cool. Look at that. And that's just literally using the trackpads. So we're either just moving our thumb around the trackpad while the trigger's held in. And then we can actually have some hands there. Nice. So, uh, I don't want to do a thumbs up. I just want to, yeah, select stuff. Wow. Wow, there's so much to select. <laughs> Quite like him. Let's change that one. Select him. Hey! <laughs> and then select the customize. There we go. That's why the saturation was all the way down. So, full on saturation. Blue hands. Change the saturation. Hey! <laughs> 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 that is so weird. Right, let's accessorize. Unless, hang on, did no, we couldn't change them. Let's put some shades on. That's pretty cool. You can change that as well. Or is that just. You put them on? No. You put them on him? Yes. Nope, hang on. Alright. Yes. Cool. Right. And then... Do you want anything else? Yes. Ah, maybe I have to keep a hold of it, yeah. So that it doesn't drop. A nice cool little hat on there. I can imagine all of this becoming really detailed once we've got it all sorted. Once we've got it all sorted out, but... Just for this beta mode, this is actually still really, really interesting, so... Guessing we can just put stuff anywhere we want. Can we? Where's that movable tool, do you think? Let's try and. Uh, <laughs> a beach ball. Uh, let's go back to there. Let's see. Oh, we've even got quests to do as well. I've got to play H3VR first, but I'll definitely be playing some quests as well. Can switch the microphone on and off. Oh, there's all of all. Tools, yes. Right, so there's the airbrush, multi-tool. Okay, I wonder if that's part of the quests then. I'll figure out what that is eventually. Um, I wonder if all this stuff just stays here. Be like, anybody with OCD would be like, clean it up now! So we'll ah, there we go. This is, this is gonna be the tool that we need. So let's move into the center of our play area. Delete, delete. I'll get rid of you. Shame we can't actually reach all the way over there, but never mind. Delete, delete. And then, what else can we do? So we can clone Thor. What does Thor do? Unfreeze it, I guess. Right, so it's stuck there. So it won't move. That's another cool option there as well. No, no, it's not. Freeze it. Can we not freeze this? Oh, that follows you as well. That's even handier. Let's delete this. Delete everything. There's actually some a couch. <laughs> it's a little mini couch. No, I don't think we can. We'll just have to drop it, but... Yes. Let's just... Move this sofa. Where? There is a sofa. 
And... This is so weird. So... We might come outside of the tracking, but... Technically speaking... <laughs> Ah, oh, this is weird. This is so weird. And I mean, it only obviously works when you when your centre player is there. But I suppose you could put little things that would see. If we do this for now, hang on. I reckon mini coffee cups could, or at least that mini coffee cup could represent where the centre of my place, play space has to be for that sofa and freeze that now that shouldn't move or at least I think I think the freeze is where when you come back home it'll go back to there let's freeze that as well and we'll test that as well later so that now if that's in the centre of there then I know sit down on my sofa even though my yeah it's just a little bit back there but look at that oh oh right good night <sighs> that is so weird uh, let's have a quick little look into quest but i haven't really got time to play the quest but right so we go to different places oh wow yes so you can go to Ah, oh, that's amazing. So we can go like the Mars and stuff and try and find things. Complete quests to find props, avatars and accessories to wear and collect. Uh, the list on the right will provide details needed to complete each quest. Good hunting. Well, that is pretty cool. So I think we'll be definitely de doing some of the quests and just going to some of the places will be pretty cool as well because you can actually go into, by the looks of it, Val's uh, offices and Tower Bridge and... Oh, they must be in games as well, so just play the game. So that's that's going to be an easy quest. Um, Brapley! <laughs> Hasn't been on in two years. I think he's dead. Right. Power on. Whoa. Oh, apps by current player count as well. That's pretty cool. I think either eventually or already we can actually oh, I reckon we can have this as like a, a on our screen let's have a look can you go through no I think these must be like the top five which is quite handy as well multiplayer saying that you can just check out the ones that have got the most players in. Um, at the moment, I think it's just obviously artwork, which that actually looks pretty cool as well, though. <laughs> An Asimov bin. <laughs> um, and then environments, which is cool as well, because then you can just add the environment to your, to your home screen. At the moment, I quite like the one that they've given us, though. I want to kind of have a little play around with it and see if we can get things uh, in different places. So yeah, I think this could very, very easily turn into, like, the TV screen. And then you've got your own sofa there as well, which you could just walk over to. Um, as long as... As long as my little cup's a little bit closer. So I know it's going to be a little bit closer here now. But I've got quite the confidence that I can sit down there. Or at least I've got a good knowledge of whereabouts it is. But obviously... Obviously, I think it's going to be better setting up this type of space um, with your full room because this obviously isn't my full room space but I know now that I don't actually have to have this barrier here I can actually move this barrier a bit further back really um, and it'll be pretty cool because then I'll know where everything is in reality without having to switch over to the camera and the headset or having to actually flip the lid of the camera so this is um, this is some really really interesting stuff they've got going on here and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. And I think it might be even better, instead of having the cup to get centered to that, 
have the cups and little points like that so like maybe the cup there so that you teleport to that which would then put it in the center of where you need it to get to i don't know i'm kind of bumbling and mumbling but i'm sure we're gonna figure something out so that i can get me so for exactly where it is but just look look at that view eh just have a little little cross leg sit down and just enjoy the view um Om, om, peace man, peace. <laughs> so yeah, that is Steam VR Home Beta, I believe, is that right? Yeah, Steam VR Home Beta, really, really cool, and I think... I'm going to play a little bit of hot dogs.